What's going on, Commanders Nation? Um, Ron Rivera earlier today released a statement. Uh, coincidentally, on the same day that Dan Snyder skipped his subpoena uh, or invitation to Congress, I believe it was the House that ordered him to come about an investigation into the workplace habits of the Washington Commanders, formerly Washington football team, formerly Washington Redskins, uh, and Dan Snyder refused to show. However, in his place, the commissioner, Goodell, did show up, and he essentially said, it's not in my authority to replace or fire Dan Snyder. I don't have that type of power. Uh, you know, and he was pretty much protecting the shield there too, as much as he could. Um, and we were brought to light a lot of cool things. Some things cool, some things not so cool, but a lot of things were brought to light. Uh, all, uh, also, uh, in that time, uh, he was asked, Roger Goodell was asked about if he had any information on if. Dave Portnoy was banned from NFL games. He said not to his knowledge. So that's good news for Dan Dave, I guess. Dave Portnoy. I'm thinking about Dan Snyder right now. But on the same day that all this happened, Ron just drops this uh, drops this little note to the fan base and to the world. Um, and in the first half, in the first third, pretty much, he talks about... Um, how he was hired by Dan to pretty much change the culture and win and what he meant by this is Dan uh, was done pretty much I, I think it was kind of part of the reason why Ron was coming I think Ron and Dan had a co conversation beforehand and said I think Ron said to Dan it's time for you to take a step back man like you you with your hands on I know you're a fan of this team but it's not really helping anything and for the most part Dan has stepped back and has really been a front office type of guy to the extent that he's pretty much bankrolling everything dealing with the money but has no hands on with any procurement or training which is a good change of pace Ron has come in and has changed the culture, I would say, by pretty much in three years, ridding the entire organization of any pre-Ron Rivera personnel, for the most part. I think uh, Tress Way and Terry McLaurin and some of the good guys have stuck around, but even our trainer went out the door last year because of the DEA raids, and uh, we got a good guy now, but he talks about in this how he wanted to change the culture and the environment to uh, pretty much a culture of winning and a positive culture and I think what I'm what he meant by this is uh, a throwback to kinda alright we're, we're not getting anyone who who can cause trouble per se you know we're done with the Darius Geises and the um, uh, just the the big diva guys or anyone with any trouble associated with them and he continues and to talk about Jason Wright about how Jason Wright was the best person for the front office uh, being an ex NFL player and having experience as a partner with McKinsey and Co he has uh, been an exceptional front office guy who can run the business side of things um, and to carry on after that, he continues to go back and talk about the culture. Throughout the fall of 2020, the organization saw many standards put into place and protocols for employees to voice and address any issues, as well as putting an NFC division winning team on the field. Even though it was 7-9, and nine, <laughs> he did win the division and play Tom Brady. Um, and Taylor Heineke's pretty much debut as a starter for the Washington football team at the time. I think that was the first time since like 2013 the football team had won any division title or even made it to the playoffs. I think I take no, I think I think 
20, 2015, Kirk Cousins might have taken us to the playoffs, but I'm not positive about that. Um, but Ron Rivera is clearly a man who values um, transparency and definitely loyalty, but also diversity. And he talks about that too, how um, Jason Wright checked off the box as being a minority. Um, and that's just something he values. And it really brings a lot of, it, it is a big change in culture rather than having some of Dan Snyder's friends being in charge of the front office and some, you know, just unqualified people. And uh, Ron, being a big fan of Jason Wright, is just kind of uh, hyping him up for the world to see. And uh, later down, he talks about when the Wilkinson r report was completed in spring 2021, and that was the report on the uh, Washington misconduct, workplace misconduct report that was eventually, I think it was commissioned by the House of Representatives in Washington, but he talks about the Wilkinson report uh, and how that was, um, his organization was put into a place uh, or was in the process of implementing the suggestions, which I think Ron would have implemented regardless. Um, it kind of coincides with the fact that Ron is in charge, pretty much taking on both a head coach and, and owner, and to a certain extent front office man. He's kind of a master of all trades, I'm sure, all while having cancer, by the way. Um, having all of this responsibility uh, where prior he was just a head coach. So uh, our final paragraph, we have these investigations into a, inappropriate workplace issues predates my employment. That uh, doesn't mean it's not his fault, or it, it means it's not his fault, but it's not. it does not mean it's not his responsibility, pretty much. And he says, I cannot change the past. But I would hope that our fans, the NFL, and Congress can see what we're doing to uh, everything in our power to never repeat those workplace issues and know that our employees are respected, valued, and can be heard. And I truly, truly believe that. I think Ron Rivera is a great head coach compared to the people we've had in recent years. Um, shout out to... I don't want to even say their names, but um, uh, he's talking about the culture in this open letter pretty much to fans and go commanders at the end. It's really a good little touchstone for him to come back and kind of connect with people. And really, this is what Washington needed for so long is just a little a change of pace. We have had so much scummy bullshit and the past 20 years that so much that it's still carrying over today and it will probably stick around for the next 20 years but Ron is saying one place that won't stick around is on the field so that's very nice to hear from him and it's a it's a nice little touch back to it, it's a way to for him to talk to the community without having to go through a press conference but I'll, I'll also say since this happened the same day that Dan Snyder skipped his hearings on that on the hill, it was probably direct under the direction of Snyder. I think Snyder might have said, "Hey man, I'm getting a lot of negative flack. This is your ship. You're the riverboat captain. Uh, <laughs> just just put some out there to kind of shift the attention a little bit, please. I really don't want to go to. I really don't want to go to the hill." I think Ron said, "All right, I, I kind of want to say some stuff anyway, so." I'll bring up Jason Wright, and I'll bring up how I'm changing the culture. That pretty much does it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, leave a like, comment what you think. I'll catch you next time.